thank you for this wonderful prospect. Uh, we should maybe limit the discussion to one or two questions for now. So, so please. Uh, very nice talk. You know, the one you didn't mention one problem of lithium batteries, the huge volume they occupy in a car or something. You the vo volume of the, because the lithium density is very low. So that is one thing. And I feel that in addition to what you are doing, we must continue sodium and magnesium battery for future. I think it's very, very important not to ignore sodium and magnesium battery. Uh, let me respond to the first one. Um, the volume of the lithium ion battery, the volume energy density is actually very high. Uh, you look at your cell phone use right now, right? It's about 700 watt per liter. That's the highest energy density battery ever invented. Uh, so volume energy density is very high. For magnesium and aluminum, I think there's a really strong motivation to do research on that. Um, but we also need to recognize for the next 10 to 20 years also, in order to have your cathode material to work out, the anode to work out, the electrolyte to work out, all the salt to work out, it will be a long-term research worthwhile doing. Uh, for the application end, lithium ion will be there, you know, for the next 20, 30 years to really drive the whole uh, renewable uh, future. So I'm wondering what are the issues that make a liquid battery uh, a good choice for grid storage as opposed to the the solid batteries that we're used to. And in particular, I'm wondering what kind of safety issues might exist for liquid batteries, and does this put limits on how big they can be? This is a great question. Um, liquid batteries and uh, solid batteries have always been, uh, been considered at the same time. So if you go to solid state battery, the electrolyte, don't use liquid, you are going to gain safety. They don't burn. Uh, it, it, uh, uh, it's very attractive. However, once you consider uh, how the whole battery cell, you have anode, you have cathode, you have liquid electrolyte. Liquid has the capability of vetting conformally of the battery electrolyte material. If you do solid or solid, the contact between solid and solid is number one, it's a concern. Uh, number two is there's always volume expansion taking place will cause cracking. If you have liquid conformally wet, you don't have that problem. The third one is, you know, solid state electrolytes, ionic conductivity, still need to improve significantly. Liquid is better. The second one is interfacial resistance between solid and solid is still very high. We start saying there's a research needed for the solid state batteries. That's why now people s start to revisit solid state, particularly in the past few years, I think, also in the next 10 years, solid state batteries and the scientific research community will be uh, really, really attractive. So if I'm understanding correctly, then the liquid has lots and lots of, of advantages, but you don't want to put it in a car. <laughs> the, the size of the batteries, uh, uh, that's why safety, uh, the, this re really the safety is the liquid, that's the concern. Um, so on the organic electrolyte, in, in, in order to improve the safety, uh, people put in uh, fire retardant, fire retardant. So once the liquid wants to burn, it's very hard to burn. That's one. The second thing is manufacturing uh, accuracy, charging protocol that control, uh, you know, precisely in order to uh, improve the safety. So safety is, uh, is still not solved yet completely, particularly you go to the bigger size of the batteries. Uh, whether this can be solved completely, uh, I don't know. I think research is really needed to, uh, to do it. Yeah. It looked like Steve wanted to make a comment. Very quick comment on volume. If you get maybe three times, four times higher volume, the volume of the engine, the transmission, and the gas tank becomes bigger than the volume of the electric motor and the battery. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> Let me also add one thing. So uh, I think this Steve remind me. Um, I uh, I have a I have a, a electric car. It turned out to be uh, with this electric car right there. Uh, remove all the engines, all other this component. You actually have a lot more space for storing your uh, your own stuff. Uh, actually, a lot more. Uh, Tesla's car has a uh, the back side chunk and also have a front side chunk. It has a lot more space 